Hi, in this lecture, let's learn about the parapet wall and railing in the section cut. Now, let's focus along the section callout. And here we can find the section cut is cutting a railing here. And also at the background, we can find a parapet wall. So first I'll work out with the parapet wall. Simply I can start drafting from here itself. I'll use a line. Let's say the parapet wall height is three feet and I'll connect to this wall. Done. Okay, now I'll project the railing. Okay, now before getting to the railing, I'll just give an idea, the brief idea about the railing that we are designing here. I'll make it very simple. Now, let's say this is the floor and we have two vertical posts like this. And we have another horizontal post. And all of these cross section are two inch by two inch. And in between, we have some other vertical posts and these posts are one by one. That means the cross section is one inch by one inch. This is the very simple and minimalistic uh, railing design that I'm going to use in this project. Okay, so with that understanding, I'll project my railing to the section cut. I'll use vertical construction line. So my section cut line is cutting here and here. Now I get the vertical two by two post. So simply I can trim and I'll use this and this line as cutting edge and I'll trim like this. Now that is the vertical post and the horizontal post will look like a square two by two. And I'll move that to this location. And in between we can find one inch by one inch vertical post as well. So I'll draw that temporarily outside using a rectangle from this level. And I'll say the thickness as one inch and press tab key, then I can define the height up to this level. Then I can simply move by holding the midpoint of this to here. Now, if you check the top horizontal railing part and this parapet wall are in the same level. So sometimes during the construction, it will be difficult to fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the elevation of the parapet wall by three inches. For that, I'll use the stretch tool and I'll select all the way up to here and I'll deselect these things and we'll say three inches done. Okay, now let's work out with the other side. And here this side, we can find a balcony and a handrail only. So the section cut line is cutting here. So I'll be able to see the same arrangement. At the same time, we can find the horizontal bar here and the vertical bar in this location also will be visible in the section cut. Okay, so for that, I'll use a vertical construction line and let's project the outer side of the railing. And I don't want to draft again because we have the similar things. I can simply copy it from here. And I'll select this as my base point and I'll place it here. Then I can erase my construction line and I'll use another line that is connecting from there to the wall. And I'll copy that from here to here. So this bar is actually this one. Okay, now let's create the vertical posts. So in order to design the vertical post, I'll copy this one by one vertical post by holding the mid here and I'll place it here. Then I'll use path array and we'll select the post here and this is the path. And here I'll select a divide option and number of items I'll make it six. I'll activate the associative on and close array. Now, if you check the distance in between these two, that is uh, five inches. So what would be the maximum distance? That would be from here to the wall, that is six inches. As per the standard, considering the child safety and all, this clearance distance should be less than four inches. So I'll select the path array and I'll increase this to eight items. Now let's check again. The maximum distance I'll get is uh, from here to the wall, that is four inches. Now, the precision of my unit is one inches. That means zero feet and zero inches. Means it is, the precision is one inches. So now here I get the measurement as four inches. So the actual measurement could be 3.6 inches, 3.8 inches or something, or else it may be 4.1 or two. So what I'll do is I'll go to units and here I'll increase the precision to the max. And now I'll measure the distance again with high precision, it says four inches and something. That means it's higher than four inches. So I want to reduce the gap further. So I'll select the 
So I'll select the path array and I'll increase the number of items by one more. I'll make it nine. And again, I'll measure the distance from here to here. It is three and a half inches. Right now, my vertical posts are as per the standard. Now, if you check here, we can find two vertical posts at the end. These are additional. I want to erase those things. So in order to erase, I'll select the array and I'll say X enter explode. And I'll select this post and then this post and I'll erase both. Then I'll go back to my units and I'll set the precision to zero feet, zero inches and I'll say, okay. Okay, in this lecture, we learned about the parapet wall and the railing in the section cart. Let's learn some more things in the next lecture.